Hi guys, it's Anilis and welcome back to Baldur's Gate number three. I'm going to load the in the last save game, but I tried this before, but the game crashed, so I kind of lost some of the progress, but you shouldn't really notice that, so bear with me one second. Right, it is pretty much loaded, so we're going to carry him back on from here. Uh, you might remember us, of course, conversing with this dude here. What is it? Some, this grove is poorer for losing. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to basically try to focus on getting our hands on some extra items here. You can of course read this book. I'm going to leave the book in reality here. Nice to get some extra items. Rotting food, I don't really want, so. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our way upstairs. Again, there's more bags and so forth that we can find there. Uh, there's some stuff here that I want to send back to camp. Send to camp because otherwise my, my bag is just overflowing with stuff and that just doesn't work. It does not work. Perfect. Just reducing that weight. Will help me quite a lot. Let's make sure I sort this as well. So at least whatever new stuff I managed to pick up. entering turn-based mode again just in case anything goes wrong it just helps me with basically uh, managing some of the aspect of time in there it is as they say empty uh, really oh okay that's pretty awesome Thanks for letting me know. How All right, let's go upstairs. Shall we? Okay, there is a hatch here. I think that's the one we just came from. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick conversation with La Crisa. Used to think the goblins would kill us the second we set foot outside. Well, I still think they'll kill us. But at least we can... We're tougher. All right. <laughs> Plenty. But if you're so sure we will. Excellent. Looking forward. Right, we've got a ton of stuff here that I do want to send back to camp. So all of this I want to send back to camp. This as well, by the way. I'm not sure why I need it stuff here have a quick look see is there anything else in here that we need to send back to camp of course this stuff goes back to camp as well all right there we go now up here if we go up this uh, little crag it allows to basically clear that last bit of the map this little bit here as you can see we get more insight into what's going on here then Now what I want to do, I want to make my way 
down towards, I think it's here. There, that should be the entrance to the bugbear. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly teleport back to here. And that's the beauty of it. You don't actually need to be at one of the teleport circles to be able to do this. You can just teleport by, so to speak. I wish I had Long Strider as a spell that one of our characters could cast. That would be so awesome. I've got double color spray now, don't I? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, this actually uses a spell slot. This one should not, because this should come from the ring I'm wearing. As you can see, this ring actually does the color spray. All right, we're going to make our way up here. This guy, of course, was damaged or hurt by the bugbears, so it said in the story. So what I'm actually going to do from there, I'm going to make my way down towards this entrance to be able to deal with the bugbear. Ooh, there's actually an animal corpse or carcass, maybe I should say. Corpse, carcass. Carcass for animals, corpse is for humans, I guess. Nothing in there. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. Ooh, a hunter's stash. Did I discover that before? No. Or maybe I did. Sometimes it's hard to remember what you have actually had done and what you haven't done. So quick save here at the beginning. Not to go on the body. That stench. Dead Albert prey, no doubt. No time to dally. What I'm actually going to do, I'm going to basically cast it on Karlak. Because I'm going to let Karlak take the lead here. Just because she got to speak to animals. So what that actually allows me to do... It allows me to actually speak to the owl bear. You feel the quake. What's this? Something won't eat. <laughs> Shoot you before I feed you to my son. Soft meat. It's a splinter. But I've got a bigger threat than you with worse. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to commence combat here. Can I do that? No. Um, I can actually take her. I'm dead. I can dash. Right up to her, as you can see. Taking position. Hold on, I can do the pommel strike. And I can do a full action again afterwards. And if I then do lacerate, there you go. I am fury. I am death. Sweet. And she's got guidance that she is using. Okay, I can't reach her like that. Sacred flame I can use though. Just double check, what's she vulnerable to? It doesn't really say, does it? Resistance is none. She's bleeding, as you can see, which is great. This feels good. Keep on guessing. It's nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so there's nothing else I can do with the character here. She can't do anything else either. She can, of course, cast Shield of Faith, which I don't think I'll need at the moment. Nice. Wow. What do you mean, no, what did you do? What do you mean? I 
really do not get it. What did I do is the question. Bearheart. Really? Okay, so let's shoot another arrow into them. Really, you're down to one hit point, really. Cub looks from you to his dead mother. Oh. Bro, bro. A single strike will end his suffering. <laughs> So I let it live, and actually you get approval from two of your companions. That's good. You watch speechless as the cub begins to eat his mother. <laughs> I guess that's a logical thing to do. Carleg does actually give me a... So the only person that's really hurt is the lady herself. Really? Careful, I might. Can't afford to stay idle. They're worth ten gold each, basically. I'll do. There's a backpack here, lovely. Camp supplies, other things. Let's see what else we come across down here before I actually make my way upstairs. What's in here? Pick a bone. Isn't that the same pick a bone? Supposed to be worth a fortune. Right, let's explore down here a little bit further. More owlbear eggs already hatched. No point in taking these. Okay, so there's nothing else down here, it looks like. Does that lead to an exit? I, pr I guess so. No, maybe not. Maybe this is just a place from where I could potentially... That's curious. Ah. That's why there was this spot here. I was really wondering what else could we do up here, but yeah, this utterly makes sense. Well, totally makes sense. Let's make our way down here. Thank you. 
to Dali. Hmm. What's that? I pray to Catalina. I implore them all to accept them. Mm -hmm. Salunite prayer. How useful. A Salunite prayer. The genesis of the two. guidance again and then of course as her I read it pass it on to him or her read it ah Come on. Come to the last one here. You should leave it, or even destroy it if possible. This rubbish is an offering to Saluna. At best, it's worthless. At worst, do not trifle with that moon witch or her trinkets. Only trouble will follow. Okay. It does. Thank you. Okay, cool. Let's go. If that's so, I'm happy to leave it. One last check. Anything else we need to do here with the cub or anything? Soldier. Soldier. As you can see, I've got four inspiration points. Oblivious to your present. <laughs> Keeps on gorging itself on its mother. Keep your distance, darling. Right, so what have we got on us that I need to just get rid of because this is far too much. Oak Father's Embrace. Come on, let's go. I wonder what the next move is. That one we can potentially fix, but let's see how that goes. Let's see here. Anything of interest to be found here? I don't think so, to be honest. Your thoughts. Mm-hmm. Why not? The year I was a kid through the jig, she put the ten years of that. Guy named Gortash. Politician. I guess I'm sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh I feel so invincible again. We were both part in the grand scheme of things. Mm-hmm. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. <sighs> no kidding. The fighting, the... C I don't know. You'd think she'd have more important things to do. Devils and their pride. Dep 
Demon sharpens. Anyway, what were we talking about? Karlak's temper is a sight to behold. <laughs> She'll need to be careful. Curious. I drained you dry. Yet your body. Perhaps I might find use for it. <laughs> I'm in need of relief. Until then, I'll be <laughs> watching you squirm from the end. Oh, how lovely. Find the missing shipment. Is that what to do with the chest? Really? I'm pretty sure I did find the missing shipment, didn't I? Ah, that's why. Because we're carrying the chest with us, isn't it? There we go. The caravan chest. I was really thinking, why is that mark on the map? But it's basically, it's pointed towards one of our party members. That's basically what it does. Uh, the Risen Road, we've been in that section. We've basically been to that location there already. This seems a bit, yeah, off that this is kind of like obscured. I guess that's got a purpose to it. We've been there, we had that treasure there. I think there's much more to do here. So where are we going to go next? I could of course go down here, but I could of course go to the village, which would be interesting. And I guess that would be a good start for the next episode. That makes this episode slightly shorter than the last ones. We got nothing wrong with that, I'd say. So I don't necessarily want to start an encounter here. As such, as you can see, there is a goblin tracker already there. Is there a back entrance that we can see here? No, not really. I can only go so far with the camera, it looks like. Yeah, no, let's go the other way. We're going to go down this way and then go in through that entrance there. It's close to where we've been earlier. Collapsed burrow. Mm. All right, guys, that's where we're going to call it a day. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. In the meantime, take care. Bye bye.